okay welcome back guys in this video i'm going to tell you guys that how to delete a particular value from the firebase document and how to delete a particular document from a collection into firestore first before that i'm going to make a few changes inside our design view i'm going to create two more buttons one to delete the field value and other one to delete a complete document from the collection so let me make the changes first one i'm going to say it uh, delete field value and I'm going to change the IDs for this and on click I would be calling tell field value okay and let me change the ID I have changed the ID and this would be below of update PTN okay this button would be below delete field but btn and here i'm going to choose delete document and this would be delete document btn and on this i'm going to call the method which will be delete document and now this text view will be below of delete document that's it okay so we are done with our xml going back into our java file so i'm going to create a new method that will be public wide delete del field value and to make it clickable i'm going to pass this object and uh, we would we are going to surround this with try catch as well first we have to add the try block with it and then it will add the catch block okay if you want to uh, delete a particular value from a field then you just have to do the same coding as we did into update field so i'm going to copy this whole coding thing from here Control c and pasting it over here you just have to change one thing from the value inside when you put the value inside your map you just have to call field value dot delete method and this will delete the value when you will up try to update the whole document okay and here i'm going to say field is deleted fails to delete field okay and the next we have to uh, we are just going to create the else in case user didn't provide the document id from which we want to delete a particular field next i'm going to create a new method for public wide delete document and to make it clickable just passing view object okay so the method name was tell document not delete document so i would be changing it to tell document and next we have to provide this catch block with this try as well okay again you have to get reference for the document that you want to delete and we have already wrote code for that so i'm going to get that code from here if with the else part else part we have already created toast for the else part i'm going to get that toast and here i'm going to say delete okay and uh, here you have also to delete documented to delete field okay next thing you have to do after initializing the document reference with object firebase firestore you have to call object document reference dot delete simply you have to delete and if you want to add on success listener you can add the on success listener with it and press the toes that document is deleted and again add on failure listener new on failure listener and toast it with document fails to delete the document fails to delete the document that's it no close this on click listener and run this application before running the application 
let me get back into our browser so that we can see that how things are working for us if we try to delete will it delete or not so i'm going to run the application so as you can see that our application is up and running i'm going to give the id so that we can delete values from that id i'm going to provide signy so here i just want to delete the city from here delete value button and hopefully it will delete the value okay the field is deleted and you can just see that the field is also removed from this document as well next thing i'm going to completely delete this document just click on delete document and it would completely delete this whole document which is sunny in this case okay so our document is deleted that's it we have completed the four we have completed five transacted videos in which i have taught you guys that how to create a collection document then how to add values into document how to get values back into from a document and how to update and delete values from in the next video i'm going to show you guys that how to get values dynamically from the fireball so see you guys in the next video take care bye bye